Hello my loves, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for joining me on another video. Today it's gonna be a little bit different. It's still fragrance related, but we're we're diving into the men's section, which is something new on the channel. I am gonna be talking about all of the fragrances that I love to smell on my husband. Now, mind you, he doesn't have a super large collection. He does have quite a few, but he is really into fragrances that not that are not obnoxious. Like me you know me I like my loud fragrances he's a little bit more reserved with his fragrances so I have about seven different scents that I am going to be talking about that I absolutely love on him so I hope you guys enjoy this video oh excuse you my phone's going off I hope you guys enjoy this video and see something new and cool today and if you are new to the channel please go ahead and hit that subscribe button become a part of our wonderful YouTube family and um yeah let's just let's just chat chat about these fragrances and um if you're interested in this makeup look honey we do have a little get ready with me video it's an intense one we're chatting away so i will link it if it's available already if it's not i will link it when it does become available so when it comes to my husband fragrances i tend to not invest too much money because He's, he's not an addict like me. I'm just going to put it out there. Me, I will spray fragrance the moment I wake up, after I take a shower, if I change my clothes, if I'm going out, if I'm staying in the house, I would just spray perfume or I would just smell them because I just love fragrances. But him, he's a little bit more reserved. He definitely wears them every day because I will poke him if he doesn't. And um, his collection is very minimal, but... He does have quite a bit of a variety, okay? Let's just blame that on me because I will force him to wear something different. But I'm gonna chat about these fragrances and the ones that I think smell incredible on him. Um, and just no particular order, let's just grab them and talk about it. Okay, so this one over here is from Atelier Cologne and this is Musk Imperial. Honey, if you want your man to smell like a man you know like a man on the red carpet with a tuxedo on i'm thinking denzel washington type of deal brad pitt you know like a mature man this is the scent Ooh, we oui, this is good it smells expensive to me and it's not overly obnoxious to be totally honest it's not overly obnoxious but there's just something about this scent that really makes me think of a very luxe man that is extremely put together. Like this gives me tuxedo vibes all the way. Gorgeous new haircut. The beard is on fleek. This is a man. This is a man in a bottle. And I just love when he wears this. This is gorgeous for date nights, for evening wear, but it can easily be a signature scent because it is quite wearable. But there's something about this one that really gives me that manly touch. And I just love oh, I love the smell. So to me, this is more of a fruity kind of woody fragrance there is notes of like black currant there's fig in here i believe there's also musk and sandalwood or like leathery notes if i'm not mistaken and i think everything is really balanced off nothing is like just in your face in my opinion so it's a really well-rounded fragrance you will definitely pick up on the fig in this one but i think it's just done perfectly and it smells absolutely divine so the next one is actually newer to his collection and this is greenly from parfums de marley what i like about this fragrance is it has this very refreshed type of vibe it to me is more of a citrusy greeny type of fragrance it smells really pleasant to be around and I think it's going to be perfect for spring and summertime. I know there is notes of apple in here. There's bergamot, oak moss, musk, and it just smells so, so good. Also a scent that definitely pulls manly in my opinion, but it's a little bit more casual. This can be worn any time of the day. You can even wear this at nighttime and really dress it up, but I think it's beautiful for the daytime also because of that green apple. There's just this beautiful like crispy tone to this fragrance and I think it smells so good on him. I find that this fragrance is very potent so you don't 
don't need to overspray. The lasting ability on both of these actually are very impressive. And when it comes to men's fragrances, I just find the lasting ability like extremely impressive. They normally last very, very well. This one is no exception. The quality is definitely there. I mean, the bottle kind of speaks for itself and tells you what kind of vibe you're gonna have with this fragrance and even the name. Oh, that opening, it's gorgeous. That green apple and that citrus really hits you in the face, but it just kind of like awakens you. It is so beautiful. It lingers on the skin really nice, nicely and it dries down beautifully. The citrusy tones subside a little bit more, but they're still there in the background. And I just think this smells gorgeous, like for brunch, for breakfast, um, going out for a walk. It just smells so good. But then again, on a date night, this is also very divine. So love this one. It is definitely one of my newer favorites in his collection. And uh, he really enjoys this one too. He finds that it's not obnoxious. It's not overly done. Everything is nicely balanced and just smells so, so good. I have an MFK fragrance and this is Grand Soir. Now this originally I purchased for myself, but honey, I found this a little bit too masculine for me and on him, smells incredible. This is definitely an amber based fragrance. It's very warm. It's very rich and luxe. It has beautiful performance and sillage. I mean, all MFK fragrances are super impressive to me. Oh, this is definitely a little bit more reserved for evening special occasion type of wear. I don't see him wearing this on like a regular, you know, just going to a store, just, uh, just, just going for a walk type of fragrance. It is definitely more of an occasion. Someone that is quite dressed up. This is what I think he should pull off. And he really likes this one. He does find it quite strong. So again, my husband doesn't like very, very potent fragrances. This one is very strong, but on a man, it just smells right. On me, I find it a little bit too overwhelming. And again, it pulls a little bit too masculine, but on him, I think it just smells so good. It smells quite luxe and um, it's just, it's a vibe. This one is definitely a vibe. It has this very nice kind of sweetness on him um, that pulls beautifully on me. I don't get that sweetness that I'm looking for. I want a little bit more. But for him as a man, I think it just goes beautifully on his skin and just projects beautifully throughout the entire day. He wore this the other day and you could smell it all around the house. Like it was that strong and it's just gorgeous. Like I think this on a man is top notch and is definitely one of those kind of sexy fragrances on a man, not a casual scent to me whatsoever. I mean, you can wear this as a signature scent if you are that type of man, but um, for my man, I think this is gorgeous for date nights and special occasions. So that is MFK's Grand Soir. I have pretty much his everyday scent. This is a fragrance that he wears any time of the day, when he's going to work, after he's done showering, staying at home, going to the gym, this is the one that he will pick up. It's a classic, it's been around for a long, long time. And that is Aqua Di Jo from Giorgio Armani. I love this on him simply because it's so fresh and it really reminds me of him because it is kind of like his signature scent. It's what he puts on pretty much every single day. And it just smells clean, fresh, straight out the shower. There's nothing Nothing like crazy special about it, but I just love that clean cut scent on a man. Like I love it so much. This is a perfect signature scent. Like if you didn't know what to get your significant other, your brother, your cousin, your father, you really can't go wrong with this one. Oh, it's so it's so nice. It's so nice. It opens up really bright and fresh, a little musky. And everything in here just smells really clean. That's the vibe that you're gonna get. Something clean, fresh, but still in a very elegant way. I don't find this obnoxious. I don't find it juvenile. It's actually a scent that I feel like goes with a lot of different age groups, to be totally honest. I don't, 
I don't feel like this is super mature. It just smells really nice and clean and put together. So this is a very, very appropriate, like everyday type of scent. And it can be worn all year round. I don't think it's just reserved for spring and summer. But then again, I do feel like it pulls nicer on those warmer days, but still in the winter time, it works beautifully. And I think it's just one of those kind of no brainer type of scents, especially if you like something with a bit of more of a musky tone, this is a great option. And I just always think of him when I, when I um, see this bottle, if he's not home and I miss him, I could just open it up and smell it. And I'm like instantly thinking of him because he wears this so often. And it's like, clinging onto every single piece of clothes until I wash it. Um, again, it's a great long lasting fragrance, not as long lasting as the other ones that I mentioned, I'll be completely honest, but it lasts a decent amount. So now we're gonna go on to something that is highly intoxicating. This is definitely something that he doesn't wear on a daily basis. <laughs> he has to have a really special occasion to pull this one off. This is Pearl from Monsetta. Again, another fragrance that I actually picked up for myself, but honey, I can't. Like, it is strong, and to me, it pulls a little bit too manly on me. Um, you know with Monsetta, they have that like synthetic kind of vibe, and on my my skin, I definitely pick up that synthetic vibe, but on his skin, I don't. This just like meshes with his skin beautifully. This is a fig based fragrance. Oh, it's so intoxicating. It's rich. It's lavish. It's very smooth. Like it has this like silky like quality. I mean, the sillage on this fragrance is deadly like you really don't need to overspray this one because it is intoxicating it leaves a stunning trail wherever you are and it's just a gorgeous special occasion scent if you want to make an amazing first impression as a man i think this scent is stunning and if you are just like a boss you want to exude that boss like quality wear this to the boardroom. I'm telling you, this is a killer of a fragrance. It just is so gorgeous on a man. I mean, a lot of women like this one and pull it off beautifully. I simply can't, but on my husband, this one is like, it's sexy. It's quite sexy at the same time, but it has this very like boss like quality. Like you smell quite rich with this fragrance i find it just smells very very luxe oh it's beautiful it's really really beautiful again you have to like that fig note it's quite prominent in this fragrance but i think on a man there's something about this that just works beautifully on me i don't think it works out at all that well but on my husband this is a sexy, intoxicating scent that smells very, very luxe. So last but not least is another quite sexy fragrance, really beautiful for um, date night. And it's one that um, was introduced to his collection last year. This is Jean-Paul Gaultier La Mel La Parfum, um, which was launched last year. And this is a more sweet fragrance for a man. And I think it just smells so sexy and classy. This has beautiful notes of like cardamom, vanilla. Um, there's oriental notes in here. This is a really like warm, spicy, vanilla kind of fragrance. And I love this one. I'm going to spray it on my skin, actually. Let me smell that. Let me smell that. Oh. The vanilla in here is so nice. This can almost be a unisex fragrance when I smell this on my skin. Honestly, the vanilla in here is gorgeous. You definitely get the hit of cardamom when it first opens up and it's just spicy and warm and ambery and that vanilla is nice and creamy. It smells sexy, sensual. It is 
gorgeous, gorgeous for evening occasions. When it's cooler days, this performs beautifully. Um, you don't need to overspray. I find this one has pretty high concentration. And out of all the La Male fragrances, I have smelled them all. This is my favorite. The newer version is definitely my favorite. There's a little bit more maturity to this one in comparison to the other ones. I just feel like it really smells like a confident, sexy, man like this smells absolutely stunning like if you like your men's fragrance to have a little bit more sweetness a little bit more creaminess not your typical fresh aromatic type of fragrance this is one of the best options in my opinion it is absolutely stunning the spiciness in here will really just like pull your attention 100 percent ah this is gorgeous like for date night, I love this one because I just love the sweetness in this fragrance. And a ton of these his fragrances do not have many sweet notes. They don't have a lot of vanilla uh, type of notes in here, but the vanilla in here is quite prominent. So I think it just creates this confident fragrance, a man that's not afraid to step out of the typical male cologne type of scent, something that is a little bit more daring, a little bit more on the sensual side. Oh, I love this one. Like, oh my God. Guys, that is it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it and saw something new and cool today. I am ready for my husband to get home so I can spray him down with some of these fragrances. Mmm. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. Um, leave your comments down below. Let me know what is your top three male fragrance. I want to know. I'm always on the hunt for some other ones um, for my husband. So comment down below. Let me know your top three male fragrances. And I will see you all on the next video. Ciao.